Hello and welcome to the next lesson and we're talking about making change with money. Today's goal, I can determine, I can determine and make correct change when given a total amount okay, and the value of the bill. So as I said earlier in an earlier lesson, yes I know if you're working McDonald's, if you're working at Rona, if you're working wherever, the cash register tells you how much change to give. This is for the person that's on the other side. This is when you go to Max, you go to Rona, that you get the right change back. So it's very important because mistakes do happen. People enter wrong numbers in accidentally. And if you don't, if you're not aware of it, you're losing money or it's probably throwing money away. So here's the strategy for making change. What you do is you always add. And that's the key because it's easier to add. People can add faster than they can subtract. Okay? So you find, and then I'm going to keep it general here, and then I'm going to do a bunch of examples. So what you owe plus change equal equals what uh, what you gave, what you gave, we'll keep it that simple. Alright, so this is what you owe, so on the cash register it comes up, you owe 1735, so that's what you owe. We are going to work on a strategy where you add the change, how much you should get back, and it's going to equal what you give, so a $20 bill, etc, etc. So very, very important, and like I said, adding is the easiest approach here. So I'm going to do a couple of examples to show you how that works. All right, so what's your bill? Uh, let's say you go to Tim Hortons and your bill comes out to be $8.35. In your pocket, you have a $10 bill. What will your change be? All right, so let me draw a line across here because it's two different questions. So here's the strategy. All right. So A35 has to add up to $10. So you start with the, the easiest thing of all, start with the five. Okay. What would it take to get this to 40 cents? So instead of 835, I want it to be 840. Well, I would have to add a nickel to get it to 40 cents. So I'm adding to that. So now, if I added five cents to eight thirty-five, I would now have eight forty. What do I have to add to forty cents to get you to the nearest dollar? So how much do I have to add to forty cents to get you to the nearest dollar? I would have to add sixty cents. So I'm going to have to add sixty-five cents to 835. All right. So if I take 65 cents and I add it to 35 cents, I now have $9. So how much do I have to add to $9 to get to $10? I just have to add a dollar 65. Okay? So 835 plus a dollar 65 is going to give you $10. So you should get $1.65 and change. Okay, I'm going to use another. i got four examples I think I'm going to go through with you. Um, this is the quickest and easiest strategy to employ. All right. And it works with your bigger numbers. So what's your bill? Uh, let's, this time let's go with uh, 12, 20, actually let's go... 1245. You look in your wallet and you realize you only have a $20 bill. All right. So that's the best you can do. Okay. So I would mean that I need to take 1245 and I need to add my change so that it will eat add up to $20. So the first thing I do, I need to add something to get this to the nearest 10 cents. So I have to add 5 cents to that. And if I add 5 cents to 45, I now have 
$12.50. All right. Next, I have to add change to that to get to the nearest dollar. So what do I have to add to 50 cents to get to the nearest dollar? I would have to add 50 cents. So what I now know is if I take 55 cents and I add it to 45 cents, I now have the new nearest dollar. So now I'm up to $13. What do I have to add to $13 to get me to 20? And hopefully everyone's saying $7. So if I take $7, oops, $7 and 55 cents, all right, and add it to 12.45, I will get my $20. Okay, so there's your change. So you will get seven dollars and fifty-five cents in change. Okay, that's what we'll be working on. So that's the strategy to help you figure out how much change is owed. And it's going to be a little bit easier because when we get to the workstation, you're going to um, you're going to actually have real money or well, play money to work with. Okay. It's a little bit easier when you have money in your hand, so it's easier to think about. Let's try a couple more. So what happens? What happens if we put uh, a bill of 3370 uh, is what you're going to pay at Rona for some wooden nails? And Tony looks in his wallet. He only has a 50. If all he carries is 50, so he doesn't like the little stuff. How much change is he going to get? Well, we know that 3370 is how much he has to pay. So he's going to have to pay some change, or he's going to get change back, and the two of them have to add up to 50. So this one's a little bit easier because it's already an even 10 cents. So 70 cents. How many cents are needed to add to this to get to the nearest dollar? Well, if you have 70 cents, you need. 30 cents to get to the next dollar. So if I take 30 cents and add it to 33.70, so I give it 30 more 30 more cents, the new total will actually be $34. So my question now is what needs to be added to $34 to get to 50? Well, do it in stages if you don't see it right away. How much has to be added to that to get it to $40? Well, you'd have to add six. So if I add six dollars, I would have 40. And to get to 50, I would need 10 more. So that would mean for this particular situation, you would get $16.30 back in change. All right, which Tony will throw in his coffee cup because he only carries 50s, or in the uh, coffee holder in his truck. Okay, let's try another one. Let's go back. What happens if your bill is two fifteen? So two dollars and fifteen cents, and all you have in your pocket, you have a five dollar bill. So employing that strategy again, you must pay two dollars and fifteen cents, and when you get your change back, it has to add to five dollars. So how do we get to $5? Start with your nickels. What needs to be added to get to the nearest 10 cents? Well, I have to add 5 cents to this. So if I add 5 cents, it now becomes $2.20. What needs to be added to 20 to make 100? Well, you're going to have to add 80 cents to that. So 80 cents. And now, 85 cents plus 15 is going to give you $3. So now, if I have $3, what needs to be added to make 5? Well, you would need $2 more, so $2.85. Okay, so 285 would be your change. All right, you'll get quicker with this, and like I said, when we get the play money out to work with, it'll become quicker and quicker 
uh, as you work through it. All right. Last set of examples here. Uh, then I'm going to let you try a couple uh, in your own and work your way through. So again, let's do. Uh, let's go with a bigger one. So let's go with Tony again. Uh, 68, uh, 68, 90. All right. Uh, looks at his wallet today. He's only got the brown bills. He's only got hundred dollar bills. So how much change will he get? So again. His 68.90, what he owes, plus his change has to equal 100. So he has 90 cents right now. How much is required to move him up to the next cent, or the next dollar, I should say? Well, he needs another 10 cents, and he would have, if you added the 10 cents to this, you would then have 69 dollars. So how do you go from $69 to $100? Well, I know if I add another dollar to this, I would have 70. So I'm going to add a dollar. So now I'm at 70. And if I want to go from 70 to 100, I would have to add 30 to that. So I end up with a 3 in front. And there's the change. So he will have to make or he will get back $31.10. Last example. Um, let's go with $17.35. And again, you have a 20 in your pocket. Okay, so you went and bought Subway for you and your friend. So you know that $17.35 plus the change they're going to give you has to equal the $20 that you're handing over. So again, need to move this to the nearest 10 cents, or move it up, I should say. So that means I'm going to have to add a nickel. So now I have 1740. How do I make 40 cents get to 100? I'll have to add a 6. I have to add 60. So now I'm at $18. And how do I get my $18 to 20? I would have to add two more dollars. So you would expect to get $2.65 back from the cashier. All right. So like I said, we're going to talk about this again to make sure everyone understands the strategy. And then a lot of the homework is going to be working with the play money and practicing, becoming better with that.